Hi, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Speedtree Modeler's Cutout Editor. As you can see, I already have a basic model created. The next step will be creating the leaves. To start, I'm going to go to my Materials tab, where I already have my leaf texture loaded. I'll be using an atlas texture with multiple leaves inside. This was created by Renz. Since my material is set up, I'm going to go to the Mesh group and select Edit. This will pop up the Cutout Editor window, which will allow us to create a mesh for the texture. At the top, there are three main tools, Points, Masks, and Anchors. The Point Controls allows you to add, delete, or reset the vertex points. So I'm going to start by creating a mesh around one of these leaf textures. So this is going to be my low mesh. I'm now going to set the pivot point, which is this white dot. I'm going to move it to where I want it to be. And then I can change the angle by editing the angle property. I'm going to set my low, medium, and high mesh. This will correspond with the LOD or the resolutions, low, medium, and high. For the high mesh, I'm going to use the tessellation tool. It adds the triangles by dividing the already pre-existing triangles. So now that I'm done, I'm going to apply the material to my leaf generator. So I select the generator, go to the leaves group, and change the material from none to my leaf material. So you can now see your leaves on the tree, and you can also view the meshes in the meshes tab, high, medium, and low. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the masking tool. As you can see, the cutout mesh editor is already open with our red maple leaf already loaded. Like before, I'm going to first start by creating a mesh by adding the points. Just move the pivot point. And now I'm going to show you how to use the mask tool. This tool allows you to mask out certain areas in your texture, which ensures that the area isn't included in your mesh cutout of the texture. Going to create my different resolution meshes. Going to tessellate again for the high. Here's our tree with the leaves on it. Because I'm in wireframe node, you'll notice that when I select the leaves, that I can see my triangulated mesh. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.